Hello. Hi. My name is Deepthi Vesikin and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something. Let's wait till this slide is... Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about products that I'm getting rid of, makeup products that I'm getting rid of from my collection, uh, either because they expired too fast, two, because their performance is really, really bad, that I cannot even give it to anybody else because uh, either in giveaways or anything of that sort, you guys know I do very good quality giveaways. I give away products that really are good. So I have given away Colourpop lippy sticks in the past. I've given away so many good products in the past that I don't really have the heart to give away these kind of products to my subscribers. You guys deserve the best. And just because I don't really like to use it, I don't want to give it to any one of y'all. And third, there's just sometimes bad products that you cannot hold in your collection, right? So yeah, I don't really like to give it even to family members when it's bad. I just want everybody to use really good products. So that's my intention behind this. So if you are someone who gets offended easily and if you're someone who doesn't really like to watch these kind of videos, I would uh, recommend come back for some other video of mine. I'm pretty sure you would like that one. but yeah let's get started with this video so firstly for primer this is health hydrating primer i got this a while back and back in the day i was not very well aware of primer so i thought this was really good and i did use it for quite some time but then i realized that i don't really like this because you guys can see this is just silicone in a bottle so if you guys see this on nika and are like okay let me buy this don't and first of all it smells like plastic and it's not a very hydrating primer but yeah it is quite pore filling like if you wanted a pore filling effect you can use this and it does make your makeup uh, last a little bit longer so, so what i did with this is for the longest time i used to use it just for hand swatches and when i wanted the, the eyeshadow to grip onto my skin it doesn't happen with some products sometimes so i used to just apply that but that's the only reason i used to use this one it's not expired it's not rancid but yeah it's very pore filling if you wanted something a little bit like silicone to fill in your pores then you can try this one they also have a pore filling primer i'm not sure how that one is but even this is not like hydrating by any means so if you have dry skin and you're like oh health has this hydrating primer let me try that out no don't even go that far so for foundation i'm going to be using this lacme absolute argan oil serum foundation so this is a foundation that i like i've tried out a lot of different products you guys know i've tried out so many foundations and i don't really like some of those but i can still get those to work but this is this one foundation i regretted getting from the bottom of my heart because this is for 750 rupees you get just 15 ml of product it's just like it's not worth the price and um you know you you spend a lot of money the, sh the foundation overall doesn't look very nice on the skin and it piles up and it looks different and eventually it's starting to smell a little different as well it's not like rancid just yet but it's not smelling the best it has one kind of fragrance i'm not very sure if over time it's doing that but yeah i have had foundations longer than this like my maybelline fit me and all is way older to this and that is still performing well it's not a foundation i like but it's performing well but this one oh my god so blending this see when i first initially apply it looks very nice I'll just give it some time and probably I'll try to click a close up. If you're like, what is that between your eyebrows? I was trying to shave my eyebrow and I cut it. Yeah. Those Miniso razors can be a boon or a bane. You have to use it very carefully. If you are even a little bit like careless or fast, then that's it. So now for concealer, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Uh, the reason I'm getting rid of this is because it's almost over, like I'm almost out of this. I had saved it for the longest time thinking I'll do like a one brand L'Oreal something and I would need it. But I already have another concealer for that in case I had to do that video. So I can use this up now. 
this was one of my favorite concealer like this coverage was enough for me at one point of time of course like when you're younger you don't really have that much dark circles or anything but now no i need something a little more full coverage and long lasting like i have the nars radiant creamy concealer that is not full coverage but that lasts like a champ looks like skin so that's why i like that and this l'oreal too much concealer you can't even find this in this packaging anymore they have changed the packaging it's a little bit longer now but yeah it's not a bad concealer it's a nice concealer you guys can see it's giving me pretty good coverage uh, just towards the inner part can you see it's already like peeking through fades away quite fast on my skin yeah sometimes you don't really like a product and then like you make up your mind about it and you're like no i hate this product i hate this product and then over time suddenly maybe your skin changes or your preference change and then you like that product right that has happened to me with some products as well it's not because i'm like sponsored by that brand and that's why my opinion changes it's because over time my preference of that product changes and that's when i mentioned that as well like why i like see originally i didn't like the mac fix plus but i got a got around to using it so even now i'm not a very big fan of using it as a setting spray you guys can see most of my videos i never use that as a setting spray but i like to use it as a priming spray and i feel like it works really well of course i paid my own money in that and i'm not going to just throw it away i have to find maximum use out of it at least i do that like maximum use out of any of these products like i have i have had it so so many days when i had to do hand swatches of lipsticks i've used this to mask the pigmentation of the lipsticks on my hand because i don't care if it's piling up on my hand as long as just it masks up and gives a light amount of coverage now i just want to use a little bit of a highlighting concealer so this one is the maybelline uh Illum luminous dream touch highlighting concealer so uh, i used to really like this as a highlighting concealer but my preferences for concealers have changed and so i don't think i'll be using this anymore and it's pretty old as well it still smells fine not gone rancid but yeah i just don't use it anymore at all it's just for highlighting I just have like little product left, not too much, just a little bit. Uh, I never really like this shade for highlighting; like it's too light. I think I got this in the shade medium. What was the shade? Yeah, I got this in the shade honey actually, and it's like so light and white. So this is my problem with Maybelline concealers; they never get the shade or the undertone right. Like, how is this honey? Honey, how is this honey? And then for powder, I have this one. This is the L'Oreal um, Too Match powder. I have used this for the longest time. I, this was the only compact powder I own. But I don't really like the shade, you guys. It's so grey and ashy on my skin. So back in the day, I, I had no idea how to buy it. So this was N4 beige, and it's just so grey toned on my skin. And the sales assistant was not good enough when I bought this. She just sold me something without even trying it without even letting me know how it would be so she swatched the foundation the powder on my hand so you know how that's that's going to go down right oh look at that ashy ashy super ashy so i'm not going to put it for the rest of my face maybe because let's not just add fuel to the fire and then for blush of course i have something this is the maybelline dream touch blush and maybe this will be featured in another video as well. I have a different concept in mind. It will be in that video as well. But for now, yeah, this one is in the shade 05. I don't think you can find these blushes anymore. They don't look like skin and uh, just emphasizes a lot of texture and uh, it's very light for my skin. I didn't buy this product, of course, but I got this um, when I bought something like for free. So light. Uh, disastrous don't worry i'm gonna show you my face up close you guys are gonna be like one where's the blush Where? what where's the blush so i'm trying to build it up just a little bit this brush just packs on a blush so i got that from amazon got that brush from amazon just packs on and then for highlighter this one from Lacme Absolute Moonlit Highlighter. I got this one. I made an entire video about this. 
so my problem with this is again that um, it's a little bit too shimmery this is very very chalky this one is a little bit shimmery to use as a bronzer as well so i'm going to mix both of this and use it as a highlighter i'm not going to bronze my skin today because i don't want to look like a disco ball so maybe even if it has a light sheen it's different but this is just straight up shimmer uh, i will keep this until lacme launches some other highlighter because if i'm going to do a full face of lacme i need a highlighter and i think this is the only highlighter they own but if they have something else i will get rid of this definitely and buy that so dry it's so shimmery it just looks really bad on your skin like emphasize texture dryness like yeah that's how it looks okay and also i'm using the products just like how i would use any other product i'm not like purposely making it look bad you can watch my individual reviews about these products as well this is how i usually apply highlighter okay with that being done let's move on to eyeshadow i have this one from nika but this is not available anymore um the whole point of this video is not for you guys to purchase something it is for you to avoid purchasing something so this was given as a free gift when you bought when i bought something else from nika and this color scheme just never called out my name so i'm just going to show you guys how this works these uh, this product didn't have very good reviews of course so i'll try this one all over my lid and then probably do like a halo eye or something whatever works okay to be fair that's nice and pigmented So since I applied it with my finger on one side, I'm going to be using it with a brush on the other side. Okay, even with the brush, it's not bad. Like, I think this particular shade is really nice. I see where the problem is. When you just apply it, it's really nice. When you start to blend, it looks kind of like dirty, like muddy. And it's like vanishing away. So I'm just going to reapply it just a little bit more. And then to add a little bit of like a shimmer towards the center of my eyelid, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. They don't really have shimmer, like they're just a matte shade with a little bit of like sheen to it. Where's the halo? Can you guys see that? It just blends into one another. And no wonder like nobody liked this. It's so chalky and they don't really pack a punch. I did have a kajal to talk to you guys about but I already have some kajal in my lower lash line because I was already filming another video uh, and I'm not someone who tug and pull on my eye just to remove that kajal I let, just let it be so anyways I'm just going to show you guys this one this is the Maybelline Colossal Kajal uh, I just don't really like this because it has one no pigment at all like I'm pressing so much and that is a light wash of color so uh, i find that there's no point keeping this so i will be getting rid of this as well and the mascara i'm going to be getting rid of because it is a little bit old and this used to be one of my favorite mascaras but i think it's high time i get rid of it but this is a maybelline volume express mascara the falsies volume express this, is a, this was a really nice mascara i don't really know if you can find this anymore i think this was discontinued i like this way over the colossal one the yellow color tube and this one you can layer it on pretty well as well and it looks really nice but so for lipsticks i am uh, i have some pack mini liquid lipsticks these have dried down in the tube and that's the reason i'm actually getting rid of them because none of them work anymore so let me see which one i can get a pigment out of so these were the nude collection and this is in the number 03 see no pigment dry dry down what do i do with this what a waste of money it was this one is the nude uh, in the number 02 okay this has a little bit of color i did get some things to revive these liquid lipsticks so i will try to revive this shade because i actually really like this shade so yeah looks beautiful right so yeah i'll just give it one last chance before i throw it away this one is in the nude 01 gone so just that one shade that worked seemed fine i just don't really have a setting spray to show you guys because um i like all my setting sprays mostly and so i can't remember of anything that i want to get rid of just yet so this was like a full face of makeup that i am getting rid of 
for one reason or the other. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and didn't take offense to it. If I was watching a video where someone disliked a product I liked, you know what I would do? I, I just watch it. I just continue watching it because uh, I know people's preferences are different. I know that everybody's not going to like what I really like. So I just watch it still. So let me know what are the products that disappointed you and you are getting rid of from your collection because you can't really give it to anybody else or because it's expired. Just let me know what are the products that you're planning to declutter. I'd really be interested to know. That's pretty much it. Do give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yeah, that's me up close, okay? You guys are happy to see this close up and now you know why I'm not very happy with this makeup. Okay, see you. Bye.